And I was shopping one day and I had these paper plates at the front of the trolley and it was chocker full of porridge oats, mashed potato and shaving foam. A man came up to me and he said, can I just ask you a question? Are you having a kinky shaving foam party? <laughs> For early years CPD trainer Shinette Basson, every shopping trip is an opportunity to find new ways to make outdoor play fresh and exciting without blowing the budget. Six years after she first began her outdoor classroom, Shinette has developed a wealth of cheap ideas, which should excite and challenge children. She shares 20 of these suggestions with delegates to inspire them into enjoying their time outside. All the items that I suggested delegates in the top 20 tips, you could go tonight and buy them, take them in tomorrow and have them there. And I would imagine and I would hope that my delegates go away from here go home, go and buy stuff, look in their own cupboards to see what they've had done. You don't need mountains of money. Head teachers will be so pleased to hear me say that one. I want a big ooh for this because the orange is fantastic. It's basically pasta dyed, coloured. If you're doing dragons and lizards and things like that, the green on the wrinkly pasta looks brilliant. This is basically grated soap. What you do is you get a bucket of water on the night and you pour it in, you dissolve it all up, you add glitter, food colouring, paint, whatever you want to do to colour it up, powder paint, whatever. Mix it all up, leave it overnight and it sets solid. And then when you tip it out, it's like slimy gloop. You have to be innovative when you haven't got any money because you've got to think of things that you can use that cost very little that you can pull out on a daily basis despite of the rain despite of everybody's reluctance to mix it or make it and as much as I would love story chairs and pirate ships and all these things that we think make outstanding outdoors we don't have the money. So then you become innovative in your thoughts and ideas because you have to be. Another of Jeanette's favourite exercises involves nothing more now, than a group of enthusiastic part participants and a ball finale. of wool. Full body weaving, yes. It's not as kinky as it sounds. I wanted the children to see how spiders spun webs. We tie the wool to the spider I and mean, some people in here are going to be the spider. And the spider basically weaves in and out of the, the circle, creating a web. Let's do it. Spider, weave away. Weave away, spider. There we go. Faster weaver. <laughs> well done. Often if somebody stands at the front and describes something to them, they think, mm, yeah. But when you stood up and doing it, then you actually appreciate it a lot more and you could creatively think it through to areas other that, that I haven't thought about. How we waved? Is everybody included in your web? How are you doing, Spider? <laughs> Look at you with your web weaving skills there. How are we doing? Are you in is everybody included? Have a look at what you've weaved now. You've weaved a pattern you actually physically are a spider and you weave a web, it's a very different concept because you're thinking about it, you're participating in the action. But if you shimmy it down now and hold it on the floor, you'll see that it actually kind of makes a different kind of creative as well as the knowledge and understanding. And what my children did after this was they then went and got chalk and chalked out the pattern around it and then they went and got string and stringed out the pattern on, with PVA glue onto their pieces of paper so they then had webs. But also in physical terms, it's really good for the mathematical language as well of under, over, left and right. Well done, full body weavers. I bet you never thought you'd be doing that today. <laughs> it gives the child an experiential form of learning, which later on can be used to create fabulous writing pieces or ideas and a thinking-based approach to learning. I think kids would absolutely love it. In fact, I'd take year two and I'm going to go and let, give them a ball of wool. It was really interesting and just sort of seeing how, you, you know, the children can move and think and just really get them into, you know, really involved in the learning. Fantastic. I think for cooperation and control and then they can use it in another way, really good.